Hello. And welcome to Rick and. We go to Banyan Golf Club, located in Hoi Hing, Thailand, one of the most beautiful golf courses uh, in all of Thailand and probably all of Southeast Asia. And here we are. We pulled into the bag drop area where we uh, dropped our golf bags for the caddies. And on the left side here, we have the pro shop where you can buy all kinds of attire, golf equipment, balls, etc., accessories. And it's very well stocked. It has everything that you could possibly need to play golf. Um, here we have the uh, very well designed... Uh, as you can see, the facilities are very well designed and, and uh, look very nice. We're walking through the section where the locker rooms are located and the bathrooms are located. And it opens up into this gorgeous view of the entire golf club, uh, golf course itself. And on the left there was the Mulligan's Bar, the place where you can enjoy some drinks before or after the round. And here we're walking into the restaurant area where we're going to meet up with our fellow players uh, that we're playing in the tournament today. Our friends, uh, John, Lucky, Guido, and Amy. And of course, they're giving me the uh, obligatory salute. Uh, the restaurant itself features a very nice menu, international menu. Um, here we are enjoying a little lunch prior to uh, our round. And in this round, we will, in actually these two days, we're gonna play at Banyan. And the next day we'll play Black Mountain, and it's a two-day tournament that we're we're playing amongst ourselves, uh, using our official handicaps, and uh, in a stroke play and method. And here's Guido running up to the Have first to tee. The bathroom, up. So, Banyan is. Um, some people like Ban prefer Banyan peace, over peace. Black Mountain, and some and right. other people prefer and Black Mountain the big over match. Banyan. Uh, they're very co close. They're, you, you can't go wrong yourself, by playing either course. The girls, the girls um, yeah, they, it's they just left us. slight We're differences the in, 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 in the, the styling yes, and okay. the facilities. Water ride. Water ride. Uh, water ride. As you will see over <laughs> water the ride. review of the, the two days. So here's John teeing off, smashing, I think, three wood. Wow. We're playing from the blue tees today. Here I am with driver. Okay, that, that was a good hit, actually. It was right in the fairway. And as you can see, the, the course, one the thing that you can notice, the difference between the two courses is that Banyan looks very oh. natural. Um, it looks as if the golf course grew out of the side of the mountain. So everything, it, it's very, uh, everything's very natural. Every, everything blends in with nature. Here's my ball. So this is where my drive ended up. Now the tee shot was downhill, but now we're going back up the hill uh, onto an elevated green here. Okay, so I made good contact. I was aiming left because I, I know that the green uh, kind of <laughs> breaks to, to, to the right. Here's Eels. He looked like he hit a low, a low shot. Uh, flighted it down a little was bit. Was that on purpose? Yeah. Uh, off, off. Let's see, what's in the bag? This is Mizuno. Here are some eggs. New that he mm -hmm. recently purchased in Holland. Oh, this is back for holiday. This is ABS. ABS. Nice, nice. Same like what you have as taper or dollar taper. And here's John. So John had the longest drive. Uh, that's his approach shot. And this is my uh, tree wood tailor made. With the very loose, like a spaghetti uh, shop, but I like it. Uh. <laughs> and here we are uh, oh. with my approach shot. It ends up it's going a little side. over the green. I mean, it's on the fringe, so I'm still going to put this one. Okay, here I am putting. There's a lot of break on this, as I said. So there, Guido's actually went in, ended up going over, but he makes a very good chip shot recovery here. John was the only person on. 
he putts, but he miscalculated the speed on that one. Don't think he went. He meant to do that, Bob. Guido for his par, just barely missing. We're still all getting used to the speed, so I will just uh, tap in for bo bogey here. John misses, taps in for bogey. Left-handed. Keto for the bogey. And we go to the next. Bogey. Here are the girls take a picture in front of the par three. Second hole. There's now a driver. Amy hitting the hybrid. And then Lucky. Shot there. Oh, okay. Thank you. So the girls say that this the, the group in front of us, the girls said that uh, this group will pay for their bill. Thank oh, you, Guido. That's very kind of them. Thank you. The, the girls say that uh, this group will pay for them. So they left the tab. Oh, did they? Uh, who's we, this for? We paid. That's not that's for me. And the golf courses in Thailand generally have what they call drink stops, um, kiosk where they sell beer, Sprite, Gatorade, Coke, water, uh, food, snacks, etc. So this one's very, you know, at the ones at Banyan are very well stocked. They even have Stella beer. Definitely a good thing to have. And here's the 17th hole green. It's a long par three for the men. It's like 200 yards up. Uh, for the women, it must be like 160. Um, and then there's Lucky's putt, and the, the green is, has a lot of undulations and a lot of slope to it. Uh, she didn't make it over the hill. There's Amy going for the putt. Same thing happens to her. So this will go on for a little bit uh, until they eventually hole out. Okay, so in the end, um, Lucky won the today's round with a net 73 after taking into account her handicap of 13, I believe it is. Um, and also, Manau was in second place with a 74. John was in third with a 77. Guido was in fourth with 80. And I was in fifth with 81. And Amy was, uh, Emmy was last place, uh, sixth place. So, uh, but as you can see, the facilities at Banyan Golf Club are amazing. Like I said, it looks like, uh, a golf course just magically grew out of the mountainside and it was a pretty windy day today but uh even with that we still enjoyed ourselves uh everything was really nice the greens were nice uh, the fairways were nice um, bunkers were good had sand in them um you know everything you'd expect from a premium golf course and the view of the sunset at the end was just majestic it was amazing uh, nothing really bad to say. If if you ever go to Hua Hin, you definitely have to visit this golf course. It's a must uh, must visit. Um, Manau and I give it both five stars. See you guys next time.